Okay, so I was wondering the other day, what if sports didn't exist? Like, what if it never existed? What would the world be like today? This is a good question to ask, ladies and gentlemen. If you're a sports fan out there, you will understand where I'm coming from. Sports means everything to me. I'm an Indianapolis Colts fan. I'm repping Peyton Manning's jersey. I hope you'll be back in Indianapolis by next week because the deadline for you to get paid your $28 million is coming up next Thursday. I hope you still be in Indianapolis. But moving on, I'm a sports fanatic. I love sports. That's why I make these sports videos because I enjoy making them. Like, I want to be a YouTube partner, but it's not all about making the money on YouTube. I love making these videos because I love sports. I love making these videos because I love doing it. This is a hobby for me. I love doing this on YouTube. And without sports, I don't know where my life would be at right now. Like, literally, I don't do nothing else but care about sports. I get on the computer. I watch a little BET. But seriously, you have to ask, this, you have to ask yourself this question. What if sports wasn't around? What if there was no hockey, no tennis, no golf, no volleyball, no basketball, no football, no baseball? What if there wasn't any of, any of those sports? No lacrosse? What would the world be like today? To me, in my opinion, I think the world would be born. Just sitting down watching BET all the time, or watching CNN, or just watching cartoon channels. I don't want to watch that crap. ESPN is where I want to be at. ESPN is what I want to see every day I wake up in the morning. That's what I want to wake up to, ESPN. I don't want to wake up to Drake's music video. I don't, wake, I don't want to wake up to Lil Wayne's music video. I damn sure don't want to wake up to Nicki Minaj's music video. I want to wake up to sports. Sports is my life. I love sports. I'm a dedicated sports fan. I'm an Indianapolis Colts fan, a Celtics fan, I'm a Reds fan, and that's about it. Those are the only sports that I care about. In boxing, I really don't care that much, but I do hope that Manny Pacquiao beats the hell out of Mayweather whenever that fight even happens. So good luck to you, Manny Pacquiao, because this is going to be a tough one. So, you know, think about that. Because without sports, we won't have Tom Brady, no Peyton Manning. No Drew Brees, no Aaron Rodgers, no Ben Roethlisberger, no Phillip Rivers. We won't have none of those quarterbacks. We won't have nobody in the, in the NFL. There won't be an NFL. There won't be an NBA. There won't be a single man that can score 100 points in the NBA. Will Chamberlain, back in 1962, March the 2nd. There won't be a Kobe Bryant, five-time NBA champion. There won't be a two-time NBA MVP, LeBron James. There won't be a two-time scoring champion, Kevin Durant. There wouldn't be a Carmelo Anthony. Just think about that. If you are a real sports fan, if you are a diehard sports fan, just think about that. Because without sports, I know half of our half of these big sports fans out here wouldn't be doing nothing. To this day, wouldn't be doing nothing probably if it wasn't for sports. So I thank God for sports. I'm glad that we have sports on this earth. All sports. I don't care if it's tennis, hockey, I don't care. I'm just glad that we have sports, period. So thank you for inventing sports. Just just thank you. To whoever who invented the sport for basketball, football, you name it. Thank you. Just thank you. I'm out.